Oh my, I'll be in Canada soon. What should I do with my banking account? He's got 20 million dollars in his heavenly bank account. Hello spectacular people, welcome to Canada and welcome to Queen's University. Today we are going to talk about banking in Canada. Remember, you can find all the necessary information about living in Kingston on Quick website. First, let's talk about some widely used words. ATM or Automated Teller Machine is an electronic banking outlet that allows customers to complete basic transactions such as withdrawing money. A debit card is a payment card that deducts money directly from customer's checking account when it is used. Intrac is a Canadian interbank network that links financial institutions and other enterprises for the purpose of exchanging electronic financial transactions such as direct payment or email money transfer. Pre-authorized payment is a convenient way to pay bills and make payments automatically instead of waiting for the customer to send a payment. In-branch transaction is a transaction that takes place in a branch of your bank and may involve accounts that are maintained in another branch or even another bank. There are basically five main banks with branches all across Canada. Bank of Montreal, Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, Royal Bank of Canada, Bank of Nova Scotia, and Toronto Dominion Canada Trust. Next to BMO, CIBC, RBC, Scotia Bank, and TD, there are credit unions and smaller banks available in your city. Prior to choosing one, make sure that you can access your bank. It is worth mentioning that uh, although US currency is accepted by these banks, it is not commonly used. Also, traveler's checks are acceptable, but again, not frequently used. If you want to use either a credit card or a bank card from home, inquire about the fees you might also want to let your bank know that you're traveling there are an array of banking plans that you can choose from but of course the best one for you is usually there are some student parameters plans. to consider before choosing a banking plan such as the limit of atm transaction per day or month the usual fees credit card situation transferring funds assessing funds and cost to use a non-affiliated bank machine it is highly important not to share your banking information with anyone, even friends and family. PIN numbers are private numbers. Remember folks, government agencies will never ask you for your banking information or ask you to send them money of any sort. Now, in order to set up a bank account, you need to make an appointment, especially when it's a high season, such as September or October. When you're making an appointment, make sure to ask what documents you need to bring with you. Banks may ask you to bring some documents, such as your passport, your social insurance number, or a document with a Canadian address on it. Scams and frauds are a well-known issue in Canada. If you receive one of these texts or calls, you might be a potential victim for a scam. You won a lottery. Your sin has been used illegally. You own CRA money. You deserve a refund on your bill. It is wise to check the website of Canada Anti-Fraud Center and report to them. Protect yourself against the scams. Tip number one. Never provide personal information or transfer money of any sort because of a silly phone call or text message. Tip number two. Do not click on unknown links or texts. Tip number three, set up your voicemail and do not answer calls from unknown numbers. Be aware of phone number spoofing. Well, nowadays scammers can make it appear that they are using a legitimate phone number. Tip number five, be honest with the bank teller. They will ask you if you have been asked to take out money by someone else. If you have, tell them they will help you tip number six if you think that you've been a victim of a scam or if you're unsure if a call was a scam contact the international student advisor remember folks the government of canada and its departments will never use threads of deportion to solicit money from you to benefit from further updates and tips about living in kingston please stay connected
Yours and yours only, World Link.